I'm very impressed. Uh, you know, when we started it years ago, uh, it was talked about not having a playground kind of thing uh, unless it related to nature. And this, to me, relates to nature and, and is good for kids and gives them the opportunity to explore and, and see what nature is all about. Get a nice feel for the woods and, and, and get nature back into the play and away from the electronic uh, world that we've all kind of uh, grown into. Uh, unstructured play. In a, in, a, in a natural environment. I like it, it's really cool. It's, I haven't been out here in a while, so it's nice to, nice to see them doing some new stuff. Well, this is fantastic. It's, uh, it exceeds my expectations, no doubt about it. Really a great facility. I encourage people to come out. And yeah, at least one of my grandsons here playing over the block, so he'll be busy for a couple hours, I'm sure. You like this? I, yeah, I really enjoy the fact that there's a lot of different things to do. There's so much just to explore and it's very creative and freestyle. This place is a gem to this community. I think of Sears and Dells as something of an oasis and not just a natural oasis but an intellectual oasis as well. Uh, the, the number of, of the, the amount of thinking and the number of thinkers that come through this place and the musicians is really phenomenal. It's rare. One fine day I spent in Illinois. It was spring. In the forest, the bluebells were blooming. My friends took me to the place where you may find them. We went by canoe, gliding the amber pebbles of the south fork of the Kishwaukee, paddling hard against a stiff wind that hinted of storm. It's a race. The people of the center took such good care of me, especially yesterday when they took me canoeing down the river. Helping people understand the facts of the working world. There's a potential value of environmental education. I think it can be character building at the same time. Hi. We probably underplay that role. That's more important than we think. Environmental education could create caring, wise leaders of the future. It was the highlight of my summers when I was a kid to get out and go explore these rivers that really I had no idea existed in the Illinois area. It had an effect on my life. And then later on I went to work at the National Park Service as a uh, park ranger and I did a lot of canoeing there. I did river rescues and such. So the skills that I learned at Severson Dells as a kid really echoed into my adult life as well. Woo! Just missed. What's good about this? I think I like seeing all my camp friends from like different years. I just like being outdoors. Oh, I saw a bald eagle. That was pretty. That was awesome. I've never seen one personal. Well, I have one. Not like this close. When they just flew right above us, and that's probably the coolest thing. When we were at the lake doing our safety day, because it was like really windy and it was really hard, but it was really cool because you got to discover like what kind of strokes you got to do and how to do different like turns and stuff and it was really fun. Before this I canoed twice. Me and Carolyn both found a black sand shell. They are in danger. So not too many of them left. And how do you release them? We set them down like this very slowly not digging them into the ground. We hit a log and then I kind of and then the whole thing flipped. <laughs> And then the boat filled up with water. 
Yeah. yeah, and then Greg had to dump it out. Well, it's been wonderful for my girls to be able to see the different rivers um, and kind of get an up close and intimate look at the rivers, not just from the size as how we usually view them, but by flowing down them every day. They learn so much. They learn about teamwork, about you know nature, which is Wait, important we're to me. Wait, we're supposed to learn. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed and to. And they learn. have a good time. Barbara, did you know we're supposed to learn? I think they're getting a lot of confidence. A lot more confidence. Learning your own individual strength. But they're loving it. They're learning a lot about how to be safe. It's a safe place for kids to get outside and um, try a, a lot of different things maybe they've never done before, you know, places to explore and the pond is full of nifty little creatures that they want to look and seeing things they wouldn't see in Rockford in the city. I found a leech! Oh. We need to give kids an understanding and appreciation of the natural world. A lot of them don't get outside in their daily life, don't have a lot of time, spend a lot of time outside don't like to be outside and we need to change that so that they have an appreciation of um, what we have and why it's important. Oh, it makes music. Listen. The other thing I, I really enjoy very much is music. Americana, blues, folk smaller acts that most people would never have an opportunity to see. I feel like playing music in places like this is the perfect match. You know, a place where you can actually get out and feel like you're in the woods. I think it's wonderful because the fans of the music who know nothing about the Dells get to hear about nature. Then a lot of people have been out here that wouldn't have seen the Dells otherwise. <laughs> watching some of the kids, you know, with the smiles on their faces and the way they react. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. It's what, it's what we always did as kids back on the farm. and You just got out in the open. This is over the top spectacular. So it's just a wonderful thing to, for the imagination of not only the adults, but the kids are... This is, it's an ideal thing. It looks like the grown-ups are playing as much as the kids. Well, that's it. I said the imagination of the adults and the kids.